don't know what to stock up on anymore and do I stock up anymore and you oh, know I'm with you I'm yeah. I'm with you I yeah. know it's just everything's so different it used to be yeah. a lot more clear we have so much stuff now but like but when we started or even you started way before me it was so it's a little bit more simple to kind of figure things out but mm -hmm. all right so we're live let me uh I, I record it too so even though I'm live all right. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whenever you're logging in live or recorded, um, I apologize. We're a little bit, actually a lot late and that is my fault. I was having some technical difficulties. You guys know how much technology loves Jess. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was trying to get things, um, logged in and, um, our awesome speaker is being patient and I'm just so grateful for her. So I'm just going to really fast, uh, do some, housekeeping because I don't want to take any more time away from her because she has so much to share with us that we get to learn from and start our 2021 off strong with some great ideas and tips. So um, I want to just make sure everybody knows that on the news tab, they posted of what to expect for our monthly transition in January. There's quite a bit, so I'm not going to go through it um, because it's best that you go on I always want to teach you to to fish instead of like basically giving you all the information yourself without, I mean, myself, without you knowing where I get this information at. It's on the news tab in your workstation. And there's uh, quite a bit of a list there that you're going to need to be um, aware of what's going to happen on the first. So please do yourself, your customers um, a favor to know what's going to be happening. And so you can be well prepared for our transition. Um, I will say if you're new to Sensi, transition means we are transitioning into a new catalog in February. So transition month is January, and that's when you're going to be basically getting your supplies for, Jan for the new February um, catalog, which is the spring summer catalog, and um, just kind of transitioning over to everything um, that's new, but also kind of closing up our fall catalog and um, preparing your clients for that which means if there's fragrances that are leaving that they love, it's a time to stock up um, with 10% off, but also it's a time to get them uh, signed up for your Scentsy Club membership because that is the Always Get My Bar program is for the people that get mad at you when you tell them that their favorite scent is leaving. Um, so they don't have to ever be mad anymore. They can have it all year round if they want to. So, and that is a great way to have consistent PRV happening um, and to grow your PRV. And it's, it's basically guaranteed uh, PRV, whether they're on a one month, two month or three month uh, rotation. So, and that's something you want to talk to them about, kind of give them an idea of how often they order from you and um, basically give them an idea of how, what, what shipment um, sequence that would be best for them. So they don't run out. Cause that's the idea is keeping them fully stocked and they never are out without their Scentsy. Okay. Um, let me just make sure that there isn't anything else. Um, we have our January scent of the month and warm of the month. There is a uh, great flyer on there that talks about it. They're the beautiful, I don't even know what this is called. Let me see what it says. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Do either of you know what the January scent I have, I had the kit in the other room. I should have grabbed it. Um, anyways, it's a beautiful etched core, but it has like the beautiful copper or like rose gold. And we have a silver and a gold. And so you definitely want to check that out. Um, just are you asking for the back. scent? What's the, the scent name? The warmer and the scent. What is it called? The scent, the scent is Jade and Jasmine. And then the warmer is just the etched core, the rose or the silver. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, you had it Thank right. Thank you so much. Um, mm -hmm. A little plug for the Warm and Scent of the Month kits. Uh, the reason why consultants do um, enroll in that is because people tend to buy what they see and smell. So when you have that kit, you're able to make samples early. You're able to send them out in a mailer or even just um, put them in an order for, say, they bought in December. You're able to give them a scent that's coming out that's not available anymore. Um, before January even hits and they kind of feel exclusive that they get to smell and try scents that they, you know, that isn't available. 
Um, and it's when people see something that's new that wasn't available when they purchased, it gives you another opportunity to have them purchase something in the very next month. And uh, just make sure you never, um, never think about your business the way you like your own pocket. So just because you would only buy possibly once every couple months, it doesn't mean your clients would either. Um, I mean, only buy in one month, you know, and they wouldn't buy the next month, meaning let them choose. Don't choose for them whether they are going to be uh, have that new information available. So you want to make sure all your clients are aware of what's new, um, even though they just bought from you today. Okay, that's basically what I'm trying to say. And then um, just a little plug for the bring back my bar we have until the 31st um, or while supplies last basically. As far as them getting enrolled in the uh, scent and warmer, I mean, excuse me, the, the Scentsy Club, I'm all disheveled today because I started off so late. Um, I'm just trying to pull that up really fast before, and it's what, not. What are you looking for? So tell, um, basically, don't they have a, a couple extra days to put it in their Scentsy Club other than the 31st? Or since it's been around for so long, it's the 31st is the last day. That's the only thing I don't remember. Or the... The Bring Back My Bars that we have available. Yeah, I thought it was... It's normally through the end of the month or until they run out, but I do believe right. you're right. But it's so hard to search stuff real swiftly it is. anymore it's so a little bit more difficult yeah <laughs> they're working on that like they have the voting starts january 4th for the next bring back my bar mm -hmm. information that pulled up but for some reason um the one that i'm looking for is not pulling so bring back my bar i'm gonna see if it pops up anyways so here's just a little disclaimer if you're having trouble looking at the news tab finding what you need um just continue to be uh, patient, plug some in, continue to click, uh, you know, more options. It'll eventually show up. It's just not um, showing up as fast some of the items as we'd like. Home office is aware of this. They're working on it, excuse me. And um, so it, it's not just you, if you're new and you're thinking, okay, why am I not figuring this out? Why can't I find this? Um, it's not just you, okay? so. If you need additional help and you just can't find it, you're searching, 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 reach out to your upline. Maybe they can help you. Um, and But don't give up because if you're looking for the information, it's information you need to have for your business. So just let your um, upline be aware that you've tried, you've done what you could, you've searched and searched and you can't find it. But um, I promise it's getting easier. They're looking, they're making it better for the new year. Um, I don't see it. I don't, all I see is that they emailed um, the bring back my bar. Uh, That's recently. all I'm finding too. Yeah. So I have it on my, I think maybe I'll look it up. I have a snapshot of the, the flyer on my files on my phone. Okay. Let me blow it up. Let's see here. It says always get my bar. It's not saying a deadline. Let's see. Yeah, you're right. It just says while well, supplies last. For mm -hmm. some reason, I thought it set a certain date of when they can add. All right. So basically, try to get everybody aware that you know that it loves a certain scent on the Bring Back My Bar and, and let them know that they need to enroll by the 31st. That's basically what we know for sure. But fast, sooner if, if you know, because it's while well, supplies last. So they don't want to wait till the last day because their black curtain bubbly or whatever might be gone by the time they decide to wait till the 31st. So that's basically my suggestion. Um, the most important thing I want to make sure everybody does is just look at that um, news article regarding the uh, what to expect on the first. I, I posted it to our group pages with the link so in case you don't find it when you go in the news tab you can go to our angels of light team official page or the angel of light group page and it's there with the link that'll bring you right to that news um article okay so but just make sure you do yourself a favor and know what's happening and so you're not freaking out um at midnight wondering what's happening okay um i think that's it 
our third, the 31st is the last day to get your points in for your incentive. If you have been trying to get that, obviously, I always say, you know, it's not over till the fat lady sings on 31. I don't like that expression, but that's the expression on 31, the 31st at 11.59 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. I've seen people literally earn their trip 30 minutes before the end of the, um, of the night. So don't give up. Reach out to your clients for, um, you know, orders as well as work with your team members to, you know, maybe get that promotion or maybe you're working on a promotion. And so uh, reach out with your upline, tell them you have a plan, you're striving for it. They don't know you're working for it unless you tell them. So there's no way for them to assist you on ways that they might be able to pull out some uh, fast tips on PRB. If you're on this call, you're on the right call. This is going to be help you to get those last minute orders in. Uh, Miss Carrie B, star director, one of my dear, dear, dear friends. She has a, a, a world of worth, a world of worth to share with you. She is like the PRB queen, and she has pulled some big numbers out out of nowhere of, on the last minute of the of the month for incentives, for promotions, for whatever she has her mind on. She is the one that knows how to make it happen. So, um, without further ado, Jess is gonna zip it up and pass it on to my friend Carrie B. Thank you so much for being <laughs> on here. Hello, hello. Let me know at any time if you can't hear me because like I was sharing with Jess earlier, this is my second set of AirPods. And so I want them to work so bad, but <laughs> they're not working. So guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. How does it feel? How does it feel? I want to let you know that um, I learned from a very dear friend, um, Jessica and myself and Becca, we um, just kind of inspire each other and keep each other going and one of the things that Becca taught both of us early on was to go out and find your affirmations go out and surround yourself with what you need to change your mindset to shift your mindset sometimes we um, carry the burden and the weight of what we were raised with right what we were taught by and it's up to us to go out and get our own experiences. So Les Brown, I love Les Brown. Uh, there's so many, but Les Brown is just one that has stuck with me from the beginning. And he tells us that life takes on meaning when you become motivated, when you set goals and you charge after them in an unstoppable manner. So think about that. You're sitting there. It's the final four days of December. You want to earn the trip. You're so close. You want to promote to director. You're so close. You want to activate for the first time. You're so close, but you see a sea of it's not possible. You have to motivate yourself and tell yourself each and every day that it's possible. Each and every moment. See, that's the kicker is every moment. Because as soon as you get up on a high, there's something or someone waiting to remind you that mm -mm, it's not going to happen. But you have to re re, uh, surround yourself with things and people and signs and information that's going to tell you that it's possible. If you haven't seen the movie Jingle Jangle, it's a Christmas, um, uh, like, a, what do you call it? Musical. And um, they, it's, you know, it's really cute. And uh, the little girl in there sings that the impossible is possible for me. But you have to first start believing that. And so many times we don't. So I understand for the whole month of December that we were talking about um, upselling, you know, and I'm going to give it a little twist because we're at the end of the month, but we're not at the end of the game, right? This is just the beginning. So uh, with that said, before I go in for you, those of you guys who don't know me, it's just that I, this uh, year, what in that, what was it, August? I can't remember what month it was now, promoted to star director, but I've been in Cincy for 11 years and you talk about never giving up. I showed up. I do a call every single Monday for my team. I've been sharing Cincy um, with joy and pleasure. I work a full-time job. Um, so I work my business alongside of my career and alongside of my family. And that's what I hope that each and every one of you find a way to work your business alongside of your life. Not in lieu of, not putting it down and picking it up here and there, but consistently finding ways to work your business wherever you go. So that means to the post office, to the dentist, um, to the family dinner, 
I, I mean, my family knows. I mean, I walk in the house with just my bag, my purse or whatever. And of course, the, I always get the, girl, I know you bought Scentsy with you. And I just wait for the invite. I go out and get my crate full of Scentsy. And I walk out of family events selling anywhere from, you know, $50 all the way up to two or $300. But you know why that happens? Because I am um, prepared. I know what's important to my business. And it's important that I, people know that I um, am a Cynthia consultant. Um, a lot of us let uh, our jobs, our neighbors, our family, our friends dictate how we're going to run our business. And you guys, this is your life. This is for your family. So you dictate how you're going to run your business. Those that care, or what does it say? Those that... Um, uh, don't care, don't matter, and those that matter, whatever, however you say that, y'all know what I'm trying to those say. Those that How matter, do don't mind. Don't care. Those that okay, matter, don't go. mind. Those that mind, don't matter. There yes, you go. Me. That is so important because we spend too much time allowing people to tell us how we're going to meet our goals, how we're going to live our life, and how our success is going to be. So, um, uh, like I said, real quick, I have been married uh, to my amazing husband, Steve. I love Steve. And I have two amazing boys. Um, they are, my kids are old. They're like 29 and 30, 32, I think. I can't even think of their ages. <laughs> but we are, we, I, you know what, I love them. And I started Cincy um, simply because I had sold Pampered Chef for eight years. And then I decided in my 40s to go back and get my college degrees, finished them up. And I went from associates, bachelors to masters. And when I got done, I, I well, as I was finishing and working on my capstone, I was like, okay, Lord, what, what's, what's it going to be? Because I love to sell. I love to share. I love to be with people. And he introduced me to Scentsy. And we sat in my office on the floor of my job with the big, huge testers that we had at the time and was smelling and smelling and smelling. Bosses walking by, VP walking by. What are you doing? What are you doing? And I knew right then. And then when my husband fell in love with it because there was no flame because he's petrified of candles, um, and there it was born. So this has been something that's helped me become a better person to help me the, um, understand the importance of setting a goal. And that's where I'm going to kind of end that and share with you the important things you'll want to know when you're upselling. One of the things that hinders us so much, and we want to know this because we're ending a, a year, right? Which taxes and things like that. And then we're going into this this new year, even though the catalog isn't ending, we're going into a new season. You want to know what you have on hand. You want to know your inventory. It is so important for us to know what we have on hand because how can I upsell something if one, either I don't have it on hand, they're standing right here and they're wanting to purchase, they're in my office and they want to purchase something or I'm sharing with them, um, but I don't even know. But even bigger than that, what products and Scentsy have you not experienced personally? It's a little hard to share stuff when you can't talk about it. So let me tell you something and share something with you, a little story. So, and I'm going to start off with the diffuser. Our diffusers are one of those products that make you go, oh yeah, it's $150. What does that sound like? It sounds like you're selling and sharing from your own pocket. I remember when I sold my very first sale I made at the company I worked for, and it was over $10,000 worth of products that people were buying. And um, I couldn't, get, I was like, uh, that'll be, uh, and I remember my monitor coming in my ear saying, stop selling from your own pocket. And that's the biggest upsell that I could tell you guys tonight is stop selling from your own personal situation just because you can't afford it or just because you don't get paid for two, two more weeks doesn't mean the person that you're sharing with is in the same situation, okay? Just because you do X, Y, and Z during the holidays. It doesn't mean others do. So continue to share your business, continue to show up. You wanna make sure that you know what inventory you have on hand. And I'm not saying you have to have inventory on hand, but as Jess can share with you and probably has, the longer you're in the business, the more times you're gonna be a host and you're gonna get free and half price items. You're gonna naturally accumulate some things, right? So know what you have, but also know your products. If you haven't used the bath soak or you have something condition that stops you, I always tell people, take it to the place where you get your feet done and sprinkle it in the water. Soak your hands at night in it. There is a way. See, I am from the school of what can we do instead of what I can't do. 
So you, I don't focus on what I can't do. So if I if I don't have any ink in my um, printer, okay, so what? Print it in black and white and put some colorful stickers on it or highlight the words or every other words. You have to focus on what's possible and stop focusing on what's impossible because you will paralyze yourself every time, right? So um, those two things are so important. Another thing you want to do is know what Cincy offers. How many of you guys know the bundles and saves? Like, you need to know the bundle and say, so when someone says, I want this warmer and this warmer, and you're like, oh, those are two $45 warmers. Here's what I can do for you. Because so everyone likes the word savings. You're not missing out. But when you offer that, what else is that? That's great customer service, right? That's another form of upselling. The more customer service you give, guess what? the more they're gonna come, keep coming back to you. And then they're gonna refer to your friends. So I'm trying to take upselling and not just look at it as the traditional how to make another sell, but there's add-ons that you can do. There's behaviors that you can have. There's knowledge that you should retain that's gonna help you upsell naturally. So knowing how you can bundle and save for a customer. You don't wanna say, well, you save a dollar. That's not it. Hey, you know what? Normally those are three for eight, uh, three for nine. It would cost you $9 for those three. But we have a bundle and save where you can save, where you can get that for $8. I don't even talk about savings, where you can get that for $8 or you can buy five and get one free for $15. Again, it's all in your delivery. It's just like in your display when we get back to parties or if you do Facebook parties and things like that. Um, if you're doing Facebook parties and um, when you set up your, um, your display, you wanna set it up in a bundle and save fashion. Have the Laundry of Love bundle there. So when you show it, you could say, we have a bundle that's called the, uh, um, now I forgot, what is it? The Laundry of Love, yeah, bundle. And you know, show it how it comes. And you guys, I do that at my shows and I get all the time, how much was that again? Can I mix up the scents? Can I do this? You know, they, they're, they're paying attention. So again, know what your catalog say. I like to take the catalog and I take the one of them and market as consultant copy and I take notes. Because here's another thing, you want to know what can go into a bundle and what can't go into a bundle. What's licensed, what's not, those things are important because how is it and how does it feel when you have to say, oh, sorry, you can't put that in. Or you're at home trying to figure out how to still make it work for the same money for them, which means you're losing, right? So get, get the knowledge. You know, I always tell people instead, I know we love to scroll, we love to do things, but how about you sit there with your catalog and study it? It's, it's, it's so important, guys. And these are things that are going to allow you to upsell. The key thing is also is to know your customer. Know their likes, their style, if they're collectors. I love, love. So on my job form, some of you guys use Google form. When someone comes into my VIP page, I ask those questions. Do you collect or are you a fan? I don't remember the exact word. I think I say, um, do you, are you, do you collect? And I put Marvel, everything we have in our catalog. I make a category, you know, and I make it to where they can select multiples. Okay. You want to know those things about your customers, because guess what? That's another list that you can have, throw it into Excel, have your emails already ready to go with the semicolon at the end, copy, paste it into an email. Boom. Disney's done it again. Teamed up with Cincy. Check out the new warmer, however you want to do it. But it's a quick way because you want to make things convenient and easy for you. But knowing your customers. So whatever that system looks like for you, since he helps us out with the bring back your bar, pulling that report. Um, but again, do do the other things. Like in my phone, you guys, I have a customer who loves pink. Like she's like, tell me anything that comes out pink. She doesn't care if it just has a hint of pink. I'm going to tell you how I have her name in my phone. And so I have her name and I say, I put her sister's name because that's who introduced her. So I'm just going to say Susie SC, which means Cincy consult or Cincy customer. Her sister's name loves pink, you know? And then her sister, I had her name as Maria the neighbor, but now it's Maria the neighbor, new baby. So things like that. So I'll remember when I'm talking to them, you're already paying for this phone <laughs> every month. Use it to your max ability, guys. You should have a voicemail on here that directs them. It can be short and sweet, or it can be very detailed. Mine is something simple like, hey, you've reached Carrie and the boys. Visit us at www.carryv.cincy.us. We'd love to service your Cincy needs. And then I say whatever about a message. You're already paying for it. Remind people every time they call you that you're a Cincy consultant, guys. That's why we have decals. That's why we wear the clothing. 
That's why Jess wears her badge upside down. Those are the things we want people to know. I, people believe I'm an outgoing person. I wasn't, but Cincy, I put on bigger earrings. Normally I have a big gaudy ring on. And then when people say, oh my God, I love your ring. And I say, it's my Cincy ring. Have you ever heard of Cincy? It's all for that because you have to figure out a way for you to connect to people. If you're sitting there and you're saying, oh my gosh, you know, it's so hard for me to walk up with people, then find a way. Jess was turning her badge upside down. You know what I'm saying? That's one of her ways. Me, it was wearing bigger earrings and putting on a ring. Um, we had a Halloween thing at work and we had to dress up. So guess what I dressed up as? What? A Cincy chick. That's right. I had my apron on and my shirt and my necklace on. And the thing of it is, everybody kept saying, that's not a costume. You're just a well, You call it whatever you want. <laughs> you know, when they tell us that we can't have... Um, you know, some people say, well, I can't sell at my job. Now, I don't have a Scentsy cup in front of me, but this is my cup. But I'm saying, you could get a Scentsy cup and your coffee cup is a Scentsy cup. I have at work, I have a Scentsy um, mouse pad thingy. My, uh, that bag they gave us, that black bag they gave us with the insulation in the last world tour, lunch bag. You could carry, my backpack is a Scentsy bag. Come on now, you have to create ways. So when I'm in the elevator and my back, and I purposely go to the back corner of the elevator and turn around, so somebody can say, you sell Cincy? Go in my pocket. Yep, I do. Here's a sample. What's your last name? What's your first initial? And I run to my desk and I send them an email. You have to create the opportunities. You might call me crazy, but I'm telling you guys, if you're stuck, if you're out of ideas, it happens to all of us. What happened to just getting this call on? I was sitting there going, well, ooh, at least I ain't the only one. Happens to me all the time, right? So sometimes it's kind of like, okay, I'm normal. It happens to other people. And you guys all didn't just jump off and quit. But I'm saying create the opportunity. When you are sitting there and you need $700 to earn this trip, you have to start thinking outside of your normal box, step outside of your comfort zone and make it happen. Create the opportunity. If you have product laying around and you know, you guys, product isn't good. Of course, I, I, I'm cleaning up my office and here's a sense go. If you have product laying around and it's not, the pretend this is in a box, you don't have an event coming up. You don't have a sale for it. It's $50 normally, but maybe because you're trying to hit a $750 goal, you, you eat your commission because you already got paid on it and sell it for the $40 or whatever, 35, I mean, not 35, $45, whatever your budget can say. But I tell you what, it does you no good sitting on your shelf when you need $750 in sales, create the opportunity. Private message though, don't get in trouble, <laughs> you know, because you're adjusting the price. But my point is that we have to start thinking outside the box. I talked to a young lady today and she was so worried about the details that she couldn't even see the opportunity. It was like, well, but I don't have that many warmers on here. It doesn't matter. Get the orders and turn it in and tell them it'll ship after the fourth or on the fourth and they'll get it whenever, you know, or don't even talk about that. Just get them excited about the fact, because I said, use the, the glitter warmers, the rose gold and the um, silver. And I said, glitz and glamour, you know, go into 2021, glitzing and glamour and pick your, you know, just make it fun and get out there and do something about it. So knowing your customers, the other thing you guys is being alert. Your customer calls you and she says, this is the conversation. Hey, Jess, I, I'm, I'm looking to get an additional warmer and I saw the warmer you posted in. Oh my gosh, could you tell me how much it is? Well, it's $50. Oh, geez, that's really not my budget. You know, money's kind of tight. What? You, okay, yo. Don't that conversation is already going towards you want to have a party to earn a free and half price. We can flip it, you can join. Be alert. People are telling you what their needs are. Your job is to show them how Cincy can be the answer. Okay, and guys, you may not think of this as upselling, but it is. See, if you just focus on the sell, this is something I had to learn because I, like just said, I, I'm a seller. I can sell $800 a day, I can sell $1,700 in a day. Done it and hustle, hustle, hustle. But guess what? Now I know that I've also got to make sure I'm changing other people's lives by always offering the opportunity, by always being prepared. If you're like me, I had an event and unfortunately I got sick. So I have two pads of um, uh, product sheets and I've got these bags, you guys, don't judge me. But if you know an Avon consultant, you can get these bags. They're clear bags, guys. You get 80 of them. No, you get 50 of them for 80 cents. They're clear, see? They just have some words on the bottom. And they have a hole for a door hanger because that's the Avon bag, right? So I'm going to put all my product sheets in there with whatever flyer of the month that I got. 
and a note that's going to say, hey, neighbor, just wanted to let you know that I'm in the neighborhood and I'm ready to service your Scentsy needs. Of course, put a wax sample in there because it needs to smell good or wash your or something. And guess what? I'm going to blanket the neighborhood. Um, anybody got a mail hole? They're getting one dropped in there, the businesses. And the thing of it is, is that none of you should end the month with any spring and summer or what are we in fall and winter products unless you're like me you like to keep one but the point is is that create an opportunity if you drop off zero bags what do you get zero chances of anything a sale a recruit if you drop off 10 it increases 20 30, it just keeps increasing nothing beats a failure but a try so get out there and try. Don't sit there and wait till the 15th of the month or, you know, the 15th of January and you're sitting there going, oh, geez, what am I going to do with these? Start now, guys. Start now and get rid of your product. It's, it's a good thing to say, I don't have any more catalogs, but here's the electronic version because you just introduced yourself to 100 new customers out there that you may or may not ever hear from, but you planted that seed. All my neighbors that are immediately next to me know I sell Scentsy and they purchase from me regularly, Okay. And I've blanketed in my neighborhood plenty of times, but it's time to do it again because somebody out there got a cat, a dog, kids are at home. My pastor texts me all the time and say, please drop some Scentsy off. We're, we can't have all these people in the house and it's smelling like this. So people want it. They just need to know you're still open for business, okay? Um, you can upsell, as you know, through samples. <clears throat> so if you have customers that are warmers and wax, warmers and wax, warmers and wax, you need to drop a washer whiff in there. You need to drop some laundry sample in there. You need to put them a little bag together and say, here, I want you to go try this. Do a load of laundry and let me know what you think. Like you could be direct, you could put it in an order when you're dropping it off, but it's your job to introduce them to new products. I haven't heard these in a while, but we normally, we would do borrow bags. So I have like four warmers that um, are in the corner because that's what I use for my, my borrow bag. I will put the warmer in there. And here's the thing, guys. Don't give them your $50 Stargaze warmer. I have like the, the, that red sweater we had, which is not ugly, but it's just not a warmer that, you know, people are probably going to put in their fancy living room or something like that, right? But you want to give them a warmer that'll make them say, oh, I love the scent. And they look through the catalog and they pick out another warmer that they'll want to purchase. So that's called investing in your business, right? So you have that person who's saying, oh, I'm not sure, you know, ba, 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 ba. And if, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, um, especially since if you're new, I don't know how many people are on that are newer, but you may not have done as many house parties. Trust me, testers get left behind. The kids start playing with them at the end and you're saying, it's okay, it's okay. And then you get home realizing you ain't got half your testers or whatever, or six months later, they call you and tell you, look what I found in the couch. So guess what? You're going to lose testers. You might get a room spray that walked away somehow or the kid got it in it or you forgot it in the bathroom. That was always my thing. I would do the little bathroom thing and then forget to do the giveaway or whatever. So it worked out. But my point is, is that don't be afraid to invest in your business. Don't be afraid. I mean, I shouldn't say don't be afraid. You're going to be scared out your wits when you do this. Let me tell you something. The first time I did the sexy delivery, better than flowers that Becca taught us, will you take a warmer? She took a warmer and flowers. I just took the warmer, but you know, out the box. But I had to sit in my car and say, you could do this. You could do this. Is it? And of course, the first time I did it, it was like, no, our manager doesn't let us have things like that. But it's okay. Because now I can say I did it. I wasn't successful, but I did it. And then I kept doing it. And then I found my success. So again, you want to sell through your samples. And, and samples means actual products sometimes, right? You're going to, sometimes you, and you can write it off as a tax. You can get a bottle of counter cleaner and you can also do um, these size bottles. Of course, I knew I would pull out the wrong one because it's under my desk. You could get these size bottles and you could put Scentsy Fresh, Scentsy Counter Cleaner. It's a nice size for a borrow bag, right? Now, believe it or not, I also give this size sample because these are the ones I make it massive like this. I should take it out. And guess what, guys? I've had more people order the, because I did the uh, concentrate. I do the concentrate because I have a doctor lady on my team and she went through and did her whole ingredient comparison. And the only difference between the concentrate and the counter cleaner is the water. So I buy the concentrate because I make samples so much. And then I tell them it's concentrate. Then they buy the concentrate. So I tell them, I, I, what I, an upsell I do is buy a counter cleaner with your concentrate so you'll always have a bottle. 
because the, the counter cleaner bottle is a great, that's a good, you know, uh, sprayer, right? So um, figure out ways to upsell, okay? Because if you have somebody that has, you know, this huge kitchen and they got the bathrooms and they got the laundry room counters and all that, the concentrate, yeah, you've got to mix and all this, but I just think it's the better way to go. So anyway, you could do this size bottle or this size bottle, it all works. And here's the thing, guys, it's not the size. It's the fact that they're curious and they want, and if you notice, this is, doesn't have any labels on it because I have everything on my label here, okay? So um, this was a room spray, I know. Don't say anything, don't judge me. But it has all the caution, eye irritant, has a description. I do the same thing for the um, Scentsy Fresh samples that I do for my bath soak samples. And here's the thing, I can hear somebody saying, well, that stuff is expensive or I just don't have the extra budget. You guys, if you really dig deep into your daily life, you're gonna find that you could find 20 to 30 bucks in a week that you could spend on it. And guess what? If you can't, team up with someone, team up with someone, you know what I mean? And you guys split it and you don't have to give That's You don't even have to give these out. You could buy these just to make your borrow bags. And then you could, when you get the bag bag, guess what you can do? Refill it, okay? Um, I put stickers on. I was doing my tape labels so I could take them off, but now I do stickers. But guess what, guys? The stickers peel off just as well. So um, you can, if the sticker gets messy, you can just put a fresh sticker on it, or maybe you can. Even, I would peel it off. And um, it has all the information, even though it's tiny as get out. But the thing of it is, is that I'm putting samples in people's hands, and guess what? I'm getting orders from that because people always say, "What was that you gave me?" And I always tell them to use it. I say, "Go to your garage." you know that light switch going in and out the garage is always dirty the garage door is always dirty and you want to tell them to go to one of the most used spots and just come just and i tell them just get a paper towel spray it and wipe it and you're going to be amazed and i said and guess what walk out the room and come back in a few minutes what do you smell it smells fresh who doesn't want to walk into a fresh home so you know figure out ways to um to introduce new products to your customer be creative um um yeah, so make sure you're sampling what your customers are not buying. We can always give them samples of wax. We can always, you know, if that's what they're into, but you want to get them to try new things. I had a lady buy warmers for me, you guys, no joke. She bought every warmer. Her house was so, she had like one of those, like a Becca house, just beautiful, you know, unique. Like I saw Jess had a, a warmer and she it wasn't plugged in. She had it in a basket and just real cute, things I would never do. But this lady cut the cords because she literally used them for decoration. One day I get a call because she said she can't do scent. She's one. She opens up the computer in the garage, has to air out for like two weeks before she can bring it out. Super sensitive. She calls me. She goes, you're going to be so excited. I found out I can use the foodie scents. So she started ordering all the baked goods. And you go, I'm talking about like 10 years later. So she bought a couple new warmers. And she, bought, I don't know where she, if she went to a party or whatever, but she came back to me to buy her, her products. Okay. Um, so again, Never give up on people. I've been going to the same post office for like 18 years, y'all. No joke, cross street from my job. It took 10 years of me consistently. Hey girl, every time I go in there, here's your, you know, your samples for the month. This, 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 this. And she finally placed an order. I remember just sharing the story about the fundraiser with the with the volleyball coach, I think it was, or something like that. A team that she does. Again, shift a conversation or finding what click with that customer, knowing your customer is how you're going to make that connection. So make sure that you're sampling whatever they're not buying. The body line, that's another a missed line, I think. The pet line, don't forget the same bottles. You can share this with the pet lovers, you know, do the, what do you call it, the deodorizer and um, the uh, oh, freshen up pup and then the um, the shampoo and what's the other thing? That thing. <laughs> huh? Detangler. The yes, no the detangler. Not spot, yeah, no not that. spot, freshen up pot, pup, and then the soap. And guess what, guys? People love it. So what I'm trying to say is, is that you don't have to give a bottle like this, see the difference, in order to make a, 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 a customer, um, convince a customer that they would like to try something. I have these for my VIPs because I might as well just give them a whole bottle. You know what I mean? But I do this for special people and special occasions. Um, when people move into new houses again, because I can take that one bottle and give make more samples than just giving somebody one counter cleaner. 
you know, because I'm they're already getting the warmer. So I'm just giving them a sample enough for them to want to come back and want more. Um, upsell through social media. Now I'm not the social media guru, but I will tell you this, guys. If oh, I don't even know what time it is. Just tell me when I'm almost out of time. Um, <laughs> I um, whenever you're uh, on your social media, you don't have to throw up all over them, but you want to make sure. For instance, if you have a, a I call mine a fan page, but if you have a customer page of some sort, whether it's VIP or whatever. Put a teaser on your main Facebook page to drive them to your customer page or whatever you have, right? Um, but again, when you are uh, on social media, I love when people take pictures and there's a warmer in the background or they're in the laundry room doing their laundry and they snap a picture of um, who's crazy like me and loves to do their laundry, you know, and they've got the laundry love bundle setting there. You don't have to blatantly say, buy me, buy me, but you can show it. And then guess what happens? When people um, looking for a Scentsy person, you get all kind of, hey girl, my friend's looking for a Scentsy consultant, are you still selling? You know, that type of thing. Um, but you can share your about your business. Remember, you're doing Scentsy alongside of your life, not in lieu of. You're not doing your life and then picking Scentsy up. You're doing them together. So you wanna show that, that's how it is. So when you're when you're live, you know, make sure your cup, even though this is my favorite cup, make sure your cup is, uh, Cincy or something, you know what I mean? You could be doing a, a live and just telling people, hey guys, I want to make sure you're aware of the sale and you've got your Cincy cup, pretend this is a Cincy cup, <laughs> and you're sharing. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's ways that you could share on social media without selling on social media, but you're getting someone's attention because remember, you never know who's watching. So let me hurry up. Um, snap the shares. They're all over the place. Put them in your orders. Make sure you let your customers know that when they get their order to snap a picture, share it on their social media and tag you. Those are great ways to upsell because remember an upsell just isn't, it just isn't selling another product. It's also getting new customers. It's getting new team members and things of that nature. Um, do unboxings guys, come on. And now I say, do it on your Facebook page. Get on your Facebook page. I'm so excited it finally arrived, you know, or cause I know you gotta be careful with um, compliance. My, my, your orders are in. Oh my gosh, I had to open them just so I could look and see because it was not your stock and you know what I mean, right? But do your unboxings, you know, or maybe do just enough and say, you want to see the rest? Head over to my customer page and then do the live there. You know, it's just, geez, but again, people don't know what they don't know about you if you don't let them know, okay? Right? And you don't want to be known as the person that at the end of the month, you're just, help me, help me, help me, help me all the time. Be consistent throughout the, the month. Um, so I'm gonna say, think outside the box because um, we have the opportunity. Since he gives them to us every single day, but you have to see the opportunity. Some of us don't see the opportunity, just like some of you may have seen the incentive and said, what, 20,000, what? 4,000 in recruiting and you probably already counted yourself out. Don't do that to yourself, guys. Because if you would take whatever goal is set before you, because remember Les says take, um, it, your life takes on the meaning when you become motivated and you set goals and you charge after them. So if you have a $20,000 goal or 20,000 point goal, you just have to keep breaking it down. If it still seems tough, that means you got to break it down further. And if it still seems tough, break it down even further. The thing of it is, is don't give up on the goal. If you get tired, don't quit rest. It's okay to rest guys. It's okay to step back and breathe, but don't give up. But remember, if something seems tough to you, it just simply means you haven't broken it down into small enough morsels for you to action it every day, okay? If it seems so scary to you, I always tell people you can do the, you get five chances to drop and dash, right? So you're building. The drop and dash is what, after the lady checks you out and you have your sample and is attached and you say, thank you so much, Here's this is for you, and you walk away. You get to do that. You do it one time, now you got four more times. But after you do it that fifth time, I want you to challenge yourself to get their phone number. And I always say, hey, I know you're busy. What's your text number? And I'll text you more information later. But you keep this sample. And when I call you, we can talk about it. You know what I mean? Thanks for sending me your number. I always ask for text number. Don't ask for just your phone number. So um, you want to think outside the box. We all have the opportunity to, to upsell daily. The new catalog is coming. I want you to take that catalog, highlight, and, and I want you to write next to warmers that you, that when you look at a warmer and you say, oh, Susie would love that warmer, write her name next to it. And you want to make it a point to share that with Susie or that, that new scent 
or, you know, like my customers call me and they'll say, oh, you know, make me up a basket. You know, I need fresh and clean. I need this, that, and the other. And I know them well enough to do that. So you want to know when somebody comes to your mind, write their name down, have your catalog full of people that you want to reach out to. Um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, and making sure you're sharing items with your customers that you know they're interested in. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel bad when my customer says, um, they call me and they're out of wax. They're like, girl, I've been trying to, for 30 days, I've been going to call you and I finally got around to it. You guys use your Amy's, use whatever follow-up you have, because see, the key here, here is getting motivated. Remember, Jess nor I or anybody else can inspire you. We can only, I'm sorry, can't motivate you. I said that backwards. We can't motivate you. We can only inspire you. And hopefully that inspiration will help you motivate yourself to get up and take the first step. I want you all to do me a favor. If you've never seen a mustard seed, I want you to go look up a mustard seed. If I was thinking I would have pulled it out, I have some, they are so small guys, but I want you to see that. And what I did for my team a few years ago is I mailed each, every one of them a mustard seed. And I reminded them that this is all the faith that you have to have. And, and our father will take care of everything else. Whatever you believe, that's, you know, that's on you. But what I want you to know is, is that it's just having enough belief in your dreams and goals and be willing enough to put enough action behind it to take the first step and each and every moment reminding yourself that it's possible and you can have the success that you want. When you feel stuck, that simply just means that Whatever you're trying to do is not broken down small enough for you to see victories. Because see, we need to smell the roses along the way. And if you're not having victories and celebrating along the way, then you'll get discouraged. You'll start saying, it's my leader. It's this, it's that. And it's none of that. It's just simply that your goal is still too big for what you're willing to do or capable of doing in that moment. That's all it is. It's not a bad thing. It's not a negative thing. It just simply means you need a tweak and you need a little shift, okay? So, um, you know, there's something that uh, Les said, and I'll, I will end with that. You know, he says that um, if you set goals and go after them with all the determination you can muster, you know, sometimes we don't really think. We just immediately already say, I can't, because before we fail. See, when you're familiar with what it feels like to not win, or what hurt feels like, or disappointment, you tend to not want to tread those waters. But in order for you to grow and have the most amazing final 3.2 days of the month left, you have to be willing to push through the, the, the not so good feels and keep pushing and be pushing. If you've seen that picture three feet from gold, you see how close he was to hitting the gold, but because he couldn't see it, he gave up. So if you set goals and go after them with all the determination you can muster, you already have the gifts and the talents um, that will take you places that will amaze you. I just challenge you all to have enough faith in your own talents, your own skill sets, and believe in your dreams enough to get up each and every day and chase after them. Chase after them with the same tenacity you would if you were going to go buy your dream home or you're, they were about to cut your lights off. You have to dig deep and tell yourself that it's possible. You have to call your leaders up and say, hey, I need you to be sending positive advice because I'm going for it. I'm swinging for the fence. And guess what, guys? You will get there. You will win. And guess what? You may not cross home plate. You may not hit a home run. You may not make the income you wanted, but you can now look back and say, oh, I can do that. I can do that. And you're going to show up to bat again and you're going to swing again and you're going to run those bases with that tenacity to win. And that's, guess what? You may make it to third base this time. And it may take you a few attempts before you actually hit the home run, but you're never going to experience a home run if you don't show up to bat. All right, guys. I hope that keeps you going and I hope that you all will go into 2021, but taking over these next 3.2 days that we have, I don't know if it's 0.2 or whatever it is, um, and going after with everything you have, it is possible. I, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to you from somebody that's still chasing the, the incentive, not because I don't have the points, okay? I'm, I, ah, sorry. I'm a salesperson, like Jess said, and I, and I, lost a whole month and then I took my eyes off of recruiting but guess what I'm not giving up it's all still possible so don't ever put somebody up in such a high pedal that you think oh psh, they got it no there's all kind of people out there that you know don't be Facebook or what you call it social media fascinated okay 
Cause I, you know how you look at people, you're like, y'all was like y'all fighting the other day. And now y'all all love you. Don't do that to yourself. Don't compare yourself. Look at look at what you have, look at the possible, and don't focus on the impossible. What do you guys got? What questions you got? <laughs> are so amazing Carrie my face hurts because I've been smiling the whole time <laughs> my cheeks hurt mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. gosh I have four pages of notes oh, you come know, on. of just <laughs> amazing with stars all over them and I'm so excited but I don't want to take up time I'll, I'll share after does anybody okay. that Cindy or Simone do you have any questions or comments you'd like to share maybe we've got some go ahead yeah so Carrie, um, you were showing those uh, sample bottles. What sizes mm -hmm. do you use, a smaller one? So what I'll do okay, is I'll them. I'll send the link okay. to and and or I'll come on y'all's page and just post okay, the links because cool. um, I've done that before. I just go to my Amazon and so it'll okay. take me a few. So I'll just say um, I think I have a thing that just says samples or like a picture, or I'll okay. go nab a new one and then I'll just slowly post the not slowly but as fast as I can toggle mm -hmm. between the two. And it'll be much later than you think because I have my own call after this call. Oh, okay. <laughs> tonight. Okay. Yeah, I think my bottles are the bigger ones, and I wanted to. You yeah. Know, I like the idea of using the smaller ones. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. And, Is yours that in thirty minutes? Right. You're not. Yours isn't starting right now, right? No, it's not starting right now. It, it it'll start oh. in thirty minutes, but I'm fine. Okay. 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 I just wanted to say thank you. It was a great call and a lot of yeah. good information. And uh, you know, like you said, nothing is impossible with God. So that's, that's right. Verse. I love that's that right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's Thank right. you. You're welcome. Simone, I think she said in the chat, that's what she was going to say. Happy holidays. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any, if you, if you have questions, you can type them in on Facebook and I'll see them. So make sure you type them in before we let Carrie go. And also, um, uh, if you do Amazon, that stuff comes, I, I mean, if you have Prime, it comes really fast. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, at this point, it probably won't come till thir Wednesday, tomorrow's Tuesday, so maybe Thursday. But sometimes it'll come the next day, and sometimes it comes the same day. So it's, it's, it's kind of got me spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I need more. And I'll yeah. go order them really fast. Amazon so Prime is great, yeah, because it keeps mm -hmm. your list right there, and you can just up and reorder, mm -hmm. reorder, or order again, yep. whatever it says. Yeah, I love it. I made the mistake of when I made my first samples with those little bottles of like making all the bottles, but not writing, like not paying attention to like what fragrance it was, because I mm -hmm. made it and I like went away and I didn't get finish up the sampling part, and then and like. I finished the bottle and was so stupid to throw the bottle away. And I'm like, yep. oh my gosh, what sample was that? So don't do what I did. Right. <laughs> you at least know what your samples are before you I, We've all done the same thing. I put real messily, but this is dish soap, squeeze the day, because that's when oh, I made those. Perfect. So I use these room spray bags and I, re, I, I use them over and over again. So when I use them over and over again, then I'll put a piece of paper in here and the date. So I'll know those samples were made and it's this scent because that happens. I mean, it, it, it happens to all of us where you make wax samples and you're like, oh man, what was this? so you, you, you got to make the mistake in order to learn what, yeah. you know what I mean? What to do, what not to do. So, um, yeah. Can you put the but, link for those little dish soaps too? That's really cool. I've never yeah. done. That. Well, actually I have two different ones. That was what I was using at first, but now let me show you guys this. I think I learned it from you. I think I'm, I'm what you're going to say is what I'm doing, which the little flipper things. Let me show you. The little you get a sponge, the little sponge. No, I don't do that. That's too much. Do that. Okay. You get a mind. thousand of these for twenty bucks. Okay. What? Let me show you. Yeah, I learned this from Jessica Villarreal and Lucy. So, oh, okay. who they got it from? So I take these, and with one soap bottle, you can make like a hundred samples. It's ridiculous. Probably more than that. They're not that big, oh. but. I put two in a bag actually, because I, I just don't feel like it's enough, but they're just little, wow. and I, I I get so many, so I just give them two, and it was a lot cheaper than these even, so I don't use these, but I have it, I'll post the link, okay. because this is a lot of dish soap still, because remember, we just want to give them a sample, right. so, um, but I can make so many, like I can sit here and just, and you squeeze it right out the bottom, 
The, oh. this, the thing I'll tell you is, is don't fill it up all the way to the top. Just fill it up to the last line because there gets air in there. And when that bubble bursts, it'll rise up on you. So you just, and then it seals. It's, you, you hear the snap, it seals. Oh, you may not be able to hear it. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's it's a tight seal. I put a, I still put them in a Ziploc bag because I don't want to waste labels. When I, I mean, not a Ziploc bag, but you know, the little baggies. And when I do that, I have my little printout, like I did cider meal all holiday season. And they got it and people ordered the dish soap. I mean, it, again, it's not so much, but again, it budget friendly. If you ordered a thousand of these and you guys could split them, you know, $10 yes. each, you guys get 500 or whatever. If you had a sample thing, you guys could do this. So yeah, just, there's so many, but I'll, I'll just share what I have out there and you guys go. What I will say is pay attention to the ounces because remember that room spray I showed you? This is a three millimeter. And for my, for my, uh, like Cincy Fresh and my counter cleaner, I use the four millimeter because it's a little bit longer. And, you know, because I do want them to be able to, but for what I do, um, well, I'll do Cincy Fresh in this, but I'll also, again, for my VIPs, I'll do the bigger one. And it's worth it to me because I stand you're getting so many um, samples out of it. So. I have a question it's, for you. Because uh -huh. like Amy and like everybody has different things, but you personally, I'm curious, when do you follow up on samples? Like how long after you gave them the sample do you personally follow up? So if it's somebody that I'm introducing something new to, I usually send the sample with like, hey, use this and then reach out to me and let me know because I ain't gonna follow up with the people. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't, I don't have time to follow up with people, but I, so I kind of put it on them. Okay. But when I'm doing my normal follow-up in my five to 10 days or whatever after they order, I'll ask them about it. Okay. How do I keep track of it? Amy to me is not as convenient. So when I what I do is, so first of all, how I do my sample. So my first sample list is my mail outs, my online thank yous. Mm -hmm. So I got my customers, you know, their addresses and mail merge and Excel and all that. And then just right next to it, I just dropped down the samples that I gave them. Mm -hmm. So, and I just have it, I just have my little folder here. And when they, if I'm talking to somebody, I could say, oh, okay, um, your last order was in this month and I can get that one out and I'll know what samples I gave them. But usually I'm very strategic. So, um, my customers, like for instance, I have customers, all they order is warmers and wax. And I'll be like, hey, what did you think about the counter cleaner? Except I go, oh girl, is that what that was? You know, and then you're like, seriously, right? But so it's kind of more of when I'm following up with their order. Now, for random people that I give, you know, samples to, I'm following with them within 24 hours because I want to even know if they even, did they toss it in the trash? Did they, you know, what it what it is? So, um, I'm kind of old school. I use door price slips. I use Amy, but I only use Amy more for following up with my team and following up just with general like orders. And just like, it's like a way for me to say, oh, these are all the people that order or these are people who haven't ordered in two years or whatever like that. But far as my samples go, if it's a new person and I'm saying thank you or whatever, I'm already following up with them two to three days after I drop their order off. So I'm asking them then. So I don't have some a whole special. If they're a stranger, it's within 24 hours because I want to make sure, like I said, that I can start building a connection, start building this relationship and things like that. So for the new people, it's more important within the 24 hours for my existing customers. And if they're like really old customers, I ain't following up with them. They're, they're, they're more like, put some more of those little things in there. No, why don't you buy some? <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest with you about that. Yeah. So, um, but um, so it, it's more the new customers and then my online customers, which a lot of them are new because they're Cincy.com, right? So right. I'm, I'm reaching out to them and sort of like what Callie had said, I have, you know, this lady that she orders $200. I don't know who she is. I tried to, you know, reach out. She won't respond. So I just send her nicer packets, maybe a, a wall, a, a wall fan diffuser or the little mini. I've sent her all that. But she just keeps ordering more. So, you know, and now she's ordering the fan diffuser, you know, things like that. So it just, it just also depends on how the customer responds. Because some people don't want to talk to you. I mean, I've had customers say, nope, I don't mind paying shipping. I'll just go on your website and order. So you, it, it's partly that too. So, but when I'm being intentional and targeted, like when I go walk my neighborhood, the way, what I didn't say was one of the ways I'll get people, I'll say that um, I have a goodie for you 
when you respond and I'll have my job form link on there for them to go and fill out my job form, right? And what I do is I just send them a sample pack and it's all gonna be this size. I'm not gonna send them bottles and things like that. But again, they're all in my neighborhood so I don't have to mail them. I could just tell them, hey, I dropped your sample packet off so that I, it's, it's an investment I'm willing to do in the time. So I have a, I'm waiting on Amazon now to drop my package. It won't be till tomorrow now, but so I can make my samples up because I don't want to go walk the neighborhood and do that. And then people start responding, you know, and mm -hmm. my job form is going to just be simple. You know, um, do you like your space to smell amazing? Have you ever used Scentsy? Have you ever been curious about it? You know, just trying to get in their head and just see how I can get more customers. That's awesome. I love that you shared that you added that you put that job form link on there. That's mm -hmm. such a big deal. That is so awesome. Yeah. And if you use Google Forms, or whatever, it's, you know, it's the same. Yeah. Google Form, job form. Um, I'm just writing that down. So I remember to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Make your life easy. Right. And I like it because Jot keeps track of who responded. <laughs> you know, that helps you out too. So. Yes. Yeah. Or I'm sure Google, I mean, I know Google form does too, but. Yes. I guess whatever is easier for you to maneuver and what you feel comfortable mm -hmm. with. So yep. um, I just want to thank you so much for everything. I mean, one, I love the way you started out with just really talking to us about, you know, where our mindset was, because that really is the biggest struggle with everybody. It, the, we have a slam dunk product opportunity posting opportunity it's really us that gets in our own way and mm -hmm. and it really does make a difference and I was just watching a um, there's a she's on YouTube her name's like Miranda oh gosh what's her name but she's a really cool like motivational speaker oh here she is right here Marissa um peer p-e-e-r um Terry mm -hmm. actually turned me on to her Carrie um, okay and she was talking about uh, you know, where your mindset is and where your belief system is. And she talked about that, that, that quote that Henry Ford talks about is whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Um, it really does start with our own belief system and believing in ourselves and um, using our own skill set. I always say that, you know, we all have talent skills or, you know, skills that we learn from other jobs. And the biggest mistake is we separate them. And so I'm so glad how you, you shared about you know, having Sensi alongside your life mm -hmm. because most people, they separate the two and that's where they struggle. And yep. so, um, because we're, we always, we've always been pumped in our brains. Don't mix mis business with pleasure. Mm -hmm. And that's not mm -hmm. this type of lifestyle, you know, this type of business. And so you just really hit very huge key points of where people struggle and how they can get past that and excel. So I challenge all of you that are listening live or recorded Send this recording to your team members. Watch this a couple times. You're probably going to get little bits of pieces that you didn't the first time that are really going to make a difference in where, where your mindset is moving forward and your belief system of what you can truly do in this business. And um, Carrie's a perfect example of that. I mean, she has enough on her plate already. She is, <laughs> I always, she gets, she, she laughs at me when I tell her. A top dog in a very big, big organization. So it's not like she has all time in the world to spare, but she makes it happen. She finds the time because she wants to, and she knows where her skills are, and she believes in herself. And and mm -hmm. she also is a human being, so she sometimes, you know, has struggles herself. So she knows where she needs to pump some less brown into her mind, mm -hmm. her brain. And she's <laughs> yeah. having some struggles, yep. or you know, and we all have to do that. We have to around ourselves with like-minded people. Carrie and I, we talk back and forth, sometimes not as much as we'd like to, but we are the type of people that we know that when I hear from Carrie, I'm lifted up immediately. Mm -hmm. So if I'm having a down you day, know. I need some Carrie. <laughs> That's what I need. So That's find right. Your five people that, you know, lift you up, that, you know, when they are around you, when they speak, they, you automatically have positive energy pumped into your body and you will get through any struggle. And if you have a bad experience in your business, share that, go up the line. I promise you, Carrie promises you, we've been through it. Yeah. <laughs> we, through it. we may have cried through it a couple of times, right. but we are, we've gotten through it. And the people that are successful are the ones that just get back up. You know, okay. they don't stay down. And there's a lot of quotes and things that she said in here that I wrote that I want you guys to go back and um, write them down because 
um, they'll really make a big difference. Plaster them all over your house where you're going to see, you know, little things that are going to help you get out of your funk if you have one. Um, but Carrie's got to go. Um, thank oh, you I'm so fine. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Call, especially when you have your own call right afterwards. Yeah, I love you so it's much. It's okay. And I learn, I love that I get to learn from you every day and you're just amazing. So thank you. <laughs> And you guys are welcome. I just wanted to leave you guys with this because again, I think the biggest thing is taking responsibility. So if you take responsibility for yourself, you're gonna develop the hunger I'm reading to accomplish your dreams. Um, when you accept responsibility for your life and you know that it is you who will get you where you wanna go. And I'm not discounting any belief that you have in your religion or anything, but I'm just saying that you have to accept that it's going to take, you have to take the effort. You have to take the first step to get up and go. No one else can do that for you because you know, you know how they always say, Lord, help me. He sends a sailboat. Lord, help me. He's like, well, I don't send a boat, a plane. And you still didn't take it. You have to take the first step. <laughs> yeah. So just because life doesn't deal you the cards that you, you think you should have, you have to learn to work with the cards you do have. So whatever you are ready, if you don't have an office space and you have a crate, Work that crate, girl, because one day that crate's going to become a table. Then that table is going to become a desk and that desk is going to be in an office. And that's the way you have to look at your business. You have to stop focusing on what you don't have and start focusing on what you can do with what you do have. And you will soar, I promise you. And don't compare yourself. Don't say she became a director in three months. She became one in six months. It doesn't matter. That's not your journey. And you know what? You don't know what, what struggle she went through, he or she went through to get there. Do you want all the mess that comes with it? You don't. So love yourself, love right where you are and believe enough in yourself to know that if you show up each and every day, you will um, succeed. So never give up, never give in. You guys keep fighting and fighting until you win. Mwah. Love you guys. I gotta go. Bye Talk then. to you later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Love you. Love you. How are you baby? Oh my gosh. Amazing. What an amazing way to I end know. 2020. What an amazing call this was. I'm so happy that she was able to do it. I'm all excited and pumped. <laughs> I'm like, and that's what we need. We need people to remind us of all the opportunity yeah. we have. And oh my gosh, I'm so grateful. Cindy and Simone, thank you for being on live. That really means a lot to us. Um, you know, just to, it shows that, you know, you're showing up for yourself and that makes a big difference. All of you that are on live watching, um, Trinise, I will let Carrie know that you love the call. That's awesome. Um, Jacqueline, everybody that was on live. And then even you that are, are, are making the point to show up for me, um, you're choosing to show up for yourself. Remember that. You're not showing up for me. You're not showing up for your sponsor, your director, whatever. This is your business that you own. And this business can take you anywhere you want to go. And we now have a fresh slate to start in 2021. And we can decide to yeah. um, make all the excuses of why 2020 didn't work out the way we want it, or we can learn from it and move Before. forward in 2021 or best year uh, yet. All right, guys. I love you, Angel. Right. Keep shining bright and we'll see you next Monday, next year. <laughs> we'll see you next year. Right. Bye, everyone. Happy New Year.